Right, welcome again. In this particular session, I now want to illustrate how you are able to derive the variances of your um, of your particular the slope coefficient once you have an idea of the standard error of the regression. Now, what do you know from what we have done so far is that your slope coefficient, your B1, is actually given by this formulation, which is the sum of um, the way your earnings is y, y minus y bar by x minus x bar everything over sum of x minus x bar squared okay um that's 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 the formulation um we produced now obviously if you if you play around this entire thing um to find the variance of beta one you will see that you end up getting sigma squared over sum of x minus x bar squared okay that's what the variance of your your beta your beta one will be or your your b1 will be which is the slope coefficient in this particular regression now we have already noted that we get our sigma squared which is the the variance of the error term from this information about the standard error the standard error here if we square it we get the variance of the error term so we we know this information from from the regression itself or we also demonstrated how it is obtained it's the sum of this res the residual sum of squares here divided by n n minus k okay so that is done then the only thing we don't have here is our x minus x bar which we can generate here so this is education minus education bar and we want it squared okay we want it squared so let's 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 just do everything at once so this is equal to that's the value of education Okay, let me first put a bracket that's the value of education minus the average so i'm going to enter the formula here for average it will ask me to pick the the entire set of observations for for which the average is calculated so it starts from this 11 all the way to the last observation then i close the bracket right then I close the bracket and I square it, okay? But because when I move to 12, to 11, to 8, to 12, I'll be using the same mean, the same number, this mean. So I must fix it because otherwise every time I move to the next observation, it will recalculate it using different values and I'll get a wrong answer. So I'll fix, in other words, every time i move to the next to calculate this deviation squared it will remember that i'm using the same average at each stage okay then i say okay that's what i get then i can just ask it to to reproduce everything that's what we have um <clears throat> so let's just get that let's say um, let's get the residual sum of squares. 
um, because I deleted that is equal to the sum. Let's add everything we calculated here up to the last observation. Okay, close bracket. Okay, that's the sum it has been calculated. Now let's find, let's also have sum of education minus education bar squared. Uh, this is equal to sum. So we'll pick all these values we just calculated now. So up to there. Then we close the bracket. We say OK. That's what we have. So, <clears throat> what is the variance? of the error term which we are calling sigma squared it is equal to rss over n minus 2 because we estimated two coefficients here so it's that number there divided by 50 minus 2 and we get that. So then variance of B1, um, which is given by the formula here we just stated to save me space. I will not restate it here. Is equal to this, that's your sigma squared, this number here, over the sum of the deviation squared of education from its mean right, which is this number here, okay? And you say, okay, you get that. Then you can say, so what is the standard error of B1? It will be equal to the square root of that, so this is to the power 0 0.5 or if you like instead of saying that you can just say equal to square root sqrt that's the short end for square root and you pick that number and you close the bracket say okay so the standard error for beta 1 is 0 0.228 if we come to our regression you you will see that that's what we have there 0 0.228 that's the standard error of our beta our beta one okay so that's how it is obtained here i'm explaining to you how all these things are computed by the software uh, there's actually it's coming from somewhere, okay? It's coming from somewhere. There's a theory behind it, and this is the idea. So, always remembering that our beta 1 is equal to this much. If we apply the variance operator to this, um, we will end up getting an answer like sigma squared over the sum of x minus x bar squared and obviously sigma squared is estimated from the sample information um, because it has been shown to be unbiased so it's the residual sum of squares over n minus the number of estimated um, coefficients uh, oh sorry no, where am I now the residual sum of squares is you 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 subtract your actual earnings minus your predicted earnings you get your residuals then you square them then you sum them you get your residual sum of squares um then you find your deviation squared for your explanatory variable and you sum them you get that now then the variance of the error term 
is just your residual sum of squares adjusted for the degrees of freedom, which is your n minus the number of estimated coefficients, and it gives you that. So therefore, the variance of our slope coefficient is equal to that particular number here divided by the sum of the squared deviations of education and it gives you this number the square root of that number is the standard error of our coefficient it measures the degree of pre precision with which we estimated um, this coefficient remember that we will talk about the t statistic it is controlled by the size of this number here so I will stop here. You can do it. You can do it. Uh, you can try to do for the um, intercept. I'm not much more interested in it anyway. We we don't spend much time on the intercept. Um, but try to find the standard error of the intercept using uh, whatever information you can uh, retrieve from your textbook. Okay. I will stop here.